Even as members from opposition benches continue to be suspended, both houses of parliament in India passed key bills which include three amended criminal law bills and the telecom bill. The three amended bills, the Bharatiya Nyaya Sanhita and the Bharatiya Nagarik Suraksha Sanhita and the Bharatiya Sakshya Bill 2023 were first introduced in the Lok Sabha on August 11th by the Home Minister to replace some of the outdated codes of criminal procedure of 1973. These key bills were passed in the lower house in the absence of 97 opposition members of parliament who were under suspension. In his reply, India's Home Minister Amit Shah said the bills were a big step towards speedy justice. In the Bharatiya Nyaya Second Sanhita, which replaces the Indian Penal Code of 1860, Terror Act is defined as an attack against India's integrity and sovereignty or spreads terror among any group. Mob lynching invites a maximum punishment of death penalty under crimes against women and children. The maximum punishment for rape of a girl under 18 years is life imprisonment and death penalty while gang rape is 20 years or life imprisonment under the Bharatiya Nyaya Second Sanhita. Offense of sedition is omitted. While citizens are allowed to speak against the government, but any acts against the nation would invite punishment. <laughs> पहले क्या करते थे एक केस में 25 आरोपी तो एक के बाद एक के बाद एक 25 लोग लिंगरिंग रूप से एक्विटल का अपील करते ही जाते थे और 10 साल तक मुकदमा चलता नहीं था अब जिसको भी करना है 7 दिन के अंदर करना है और 7 दिन में न्यायाधीश ने इस पर सुनवाई करनी तो ये ज्यादा से ज्यादा 120 दिन में केस ट्रायल पर आएगा प्ली बार्गेनिंग के लिए भी समय नहीं था अब तय कर दिया है आरोप तय करने के 30 दिन के अंदर ही आप आपके गुना को स्वीकार कर लोगे तो सजा कम होगी प्री बार्गेनिंग 30 दिन के अंदर समाप्त करना पड़ेगा ट्रायल की प्रक्रिया में कागज रखने का भी कोई प्रोविजन नहीं था अब हमने दस्तावेजों की प्रक्रिया कंपलसरी 30 ही दिन में पूरा करने का प्रोविजन कर दिया है उसमें आप देरी नहीं कर सकते द लॉक सभा also passed the Telecommunications Bill 2023 with an aim to overhaul the existing licensing regime for telecom networks transition from the current system to an authorization framework. While the bill empowers the government to reclaim spectrum that remains unused and assume control of a telecom network in the event of a public emergency or safety concerns. We on is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.